I would like to make a motion that we make an amendment to the agenda. Um, I would like for the agenda to state that the city of Darlington may go into executive session for matters related to economic development, personnel, or contractual matters. Darlington City Council may or may not work after executive, may not vote after executive session. A second. Any discussion? And Mayor, um, I want to point out to Council that in order to attempt to amend the agenda within 24 hours of notice having been given so that we don't violate the Freedom of Information Act, it must be a two-thirds vote yes, in favor. I know that. Mm -hmm. I know that. Are we hearing that? All in favor of the vote? Let me know what's that. Motion, let me know what's that. Aye. 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 have the same right? Nay. Nay. <coughs> How many people need? Okay, it passes. It fails. No, ma'am. It doesn't pass. That's not a two thirds, that's a three thirds. We also, we also, that's still four. Four three. 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 That's not a two thirds majority. <laughs> well, it's fine. I don't think so. Let me pull my phone off. Okay, okay. <laughs> well, it says it is. I mean, there's no word. You don't have to look at anything. Okay. <laughs> okay, at this time, we will be going to executive session. Everyone may need the code room, please. The council chambers. Uh, I have something I'd like to read. Why? According to South Carolina section 30-4-70, if an adversary hearing involving an employee or client is held, the employee or client is the right to demand that the hearing be conducted publicly. I'm making that request at this time. Four point six six votes. Two thirds. Two thirds of seven. Four point six six. Um. Don't have any problem with that. Three orders. We had the vote. Please hold There's no talk from the audience. I'm gonna have respect in here. Ms. Reed. Yes, sir. Oh, I'm, I'm just saying. The motion was to continue to go into executive session. He has made a proposal. Let's go into executive session. That's what you said that we failed with that. So at this time on the agenda, it is time for the executive session as stated on here. All others, as he has just said, any up to any any a, a, a change to the agenda needs a 24 hour thing and the public hearing is not that you just stated. Anyway. Let's follow the agenda with the executive session, which you just said, as is. Okay? Uh -huh. Howard's got Howard. something that he brought to the attention that's got to be considered. That if this is going to be an adversarial hearing involving an individual. It's executive session, no hearing. Yes, it's not on the agenda. You got it's not the agenda. The executive session is going to handle administrative you don't contract. Don't You've got to do it the way the statute provides or the press is going to sue us. So we will. But it doesn't say a hearing. It is in session. Just read it. Read it. Hold up. Um, I checked the no, two, yeah. um, Judge. Yes, ma'am. Can you answer that question? I think what uh, Mr. Garling has alluded to is 30-4-70. Uh, a subsection one, and what's that discussing? And that is a, an individual employment matters, and it's an adversarial. And then the statute itself reads: if an adversary hearing involving an employer client is held, the employer client has the right to demand that the hearing be conducted publicly. Okay, well, this, uh, wait, that would be in the case of what? I mean, what, what, what's that do for? Ma'am? I mean, I think everybody has been alluded to one thing that's not. We're going, we're going into, um, I had a council woman come to me um, the last time and said that she did not get understanding at the last council meeting. That's why this meeting is being held. Mm -hmm. So I mean, what executive session? My understanding of the statute would be that if we go into executive session and then we start talking about a personnel matter, then that individual has the right to demand a public hearing. 
have if to. If we go into executive session and we aren't talking about a particular individual and matters that are of an adversarial nature, then we can discuss things that are on the agenda. But if we start attacking Bryant who runs the water department or whatever, you know, type thing, then he's entitled to say, wait a minute, folks, if you're going to lambast me, I'm going to insist upon my right to have a public hearing. Who said that we're doing that? We're well, we don't know. He's public just public saying public. if you're going to do that, <laughs> he wants a public hearing. That's an hearing. assumption. That's well, an assumption. Yeah. Not, 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 that's not what the meeting is about. I think this, um, can, can I, can yeah, I, I can speak? Can, can I speak? Yes. Go ahead, Matt. We went into executive session last um, mm. council meeting. There was a lot of unanswered questions. Those of you that was at the meeting saw from first hand that there was some um, disagreement as far as making an amendment to the last agenda. We got that clarified. When we went into executive session to ask questions, there was a lot of talking over each other. The city manager was not given an opportunity to address those questions. And I, as a council member, didn't feel like that there was clarity coming out of the executive session. I asked the mayor if we could have a special meeting to follow up with the executive session so that the questions that we ask can be clearly answered and that the city manager can be given the ample time to do that. Now, all this other stuff about bashing somebody, I don't know where that came from. That was my request from the mayor to follow up from the last executive session to be able to get clarity and give the city manager an opportunity to ask questions that he was not answered last executive meeting because we all talked over each other. That was the purpose of the meeting. Now, all the other stuff, I don't have anything, I don't know anything about it. Brian. Oh, that's all well and good, and I truly applaud that. I just wish whenever I and Councilman Milling asked what the reasoning for the executive session was, you would have told us that. I gave if it was in the memo of, of right here in front of everyone's <coughs> eyes, then we'd have that, but we don't. I even asked specifically, what is the executive session about, and y'all would not give us this information. That's not Judge, true, that is, I have that a text. is not true. I can I read you the text and message. I said it's to follow up from the last executive meeting to get clarity. I can read the text text message back. word for word. You said the city administrator would let us know. That was your response, and this is what we got. <clears throat> At this that, point, that I, I not, don't know. I was in the executive session. I'm not sure what we could discuss if it wasn't to do with Howard. <laughs> That's your That's, assumption. It is <laughs> an assumption, but we're on assumptions because the proper procedures aren't being followed. We're not given 24-hour periods. We're not communicating with each other. Our own councilmen don't have an idea why we're going into executive session. How am I supposed to have an actual adequate vote you were when I don't have any time to prepare because I don't even know what we're meeting on? <clears throat> with the word administration, we could be talking about council. We can talk about any department within there. It's way too you general. Were that information. <laughs> okay. It seems to me, if everything is, if, if you all have assumed that it's simply on the city manager, what is the fear There's of being in executive session to follow the policies by which th we are governed? It said an executive session, even if it was. She wanted to amend it. She has stated clearly that there are questions that they won't clear up a council person. The things that we do all the time. Now, what is the fear that you even now, let's go in, if you want a public hearing, we will set it up like we do any other public hearing. But why have a public hearing? What's the fear going on here? How, Let the us fear is telling us ahead of time of what's going on here okay, instead so, of amending it. And I never got any information about this. Okay, so what is the fear of having a meeting? Hold on, wait a minute. What is the fear of having a meeting? Let's stop it. Hold on. I said, hold on. You can respect me. Okay. Now, there was a, a, a call from Miss um, Bruce, and she said there was an unanswered question. And on my um text that I got, it said that we wanted a follow-up from 
the last is that the session. That's what, I don't know what yours said, but that's what mine said. And that's all we were doing. There were things that were put out there. You know, Facebook is good for one thing, but it's bad for another. I have not been on Facebook, but I have screenshots that, I wasn't going to bring this out in open session, but since the city manager brought it up, <coughs> there were things on Facebook that I did not say. There were things that were put out there that were false. Nobody heard me say that. And it's unfair for that to have been put on Facebook not knowing what was going on. It was clearly stated what the meeting was about to follow up what was said in the last executive session. And there are just things that are being told that are not the truth. Now, Mr. Gallo, what you got to say? Ma'am, um, we had our last meeting, was it July 11th? July 11th. Um, I've been at work every day except for every work day. Nobody's come by to ask me any questions relating to any, any of this. Um, and my door has been open. And I'll be glad to talk to any council member or any person in the public about this. One on one, two on one. You know, it doesn't always have to be such a, a formal setting to do something like this. I, I don't mind asking questions or finding out answers. And I'm not trying to hide anything. We're trying to have it. Hold on, hold on. But we don't want to hear it. We just wanted an executive session, a meeting with the other council. <laughs> yes. We can go into executive session for what the um, agenda announces was the basis for executive session. If we vary from that, we are not acting in accordance with the Freedom of Information Act. I understand and that, we'll and I know that you can do it two respond thirds of appropriately. We'll even have to quit talking about things that are not covered by the agenda that I'm looking at. Um, if we get out of line, you know, <laughs> it may well be that if we're not talking about that That's portion of the Freedom of Information Act that Mr. Garland read to us, then a public hearing um, won't be necessary. But if we get into some of that, then we may just have to stop and say, well, if that's really what we want to talk about, this isn't the agenda that allows us to do it, and we come out. Um, I don't have a problem about going in well, based on what, that's what we've what we're got here and then see how we fight. <laughs> well, we're not going to do that. Always right? doing you can't say. bear it, but on my time on council, I've gone into executive session many a time, and the, the topic varied. It changed from what it's supposed to be. So it seemed like times are changing now since I'm the mayor. Yes. That seems against the law, Mayor. I know it's against the law before. Well, then, that doesn't make Nobody it right, ever did anything about it. Well, but we can go into executive session for personnel administration. Maybe That's it. Okay. Is that what we're doing now? Can we do that? I'll uh, follow that point there. This, I think, was written in 2015. Uh -huh. um, so this is the applicable law. But I don't think there's anything wrong with doing executive session if it varies. And Howard does have the right at that point if it becomes an adversarial to okay. come out. Okay. You come out of here. Exactly. But, but I, I think there's nothing wrong with going into executive session. Yeah. But again, if it, uh, as a judge states, I think it varies. He has a yeah. right for a public hearing about that. I know you got to stick with what's on here. So what's your pleasure? Ms. Reed? I motion that we go into executive session for the personal administration. I will second that as long as we stay on agenda. Of course, I'll second it, then I'll make a motion to come out if we get off. The well, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. I, I appreciate that. That's what you're supposed to do. All in favor? Five. 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 Five.